This is the footage that emerged a few hours after the bloody attack. Many, many ayat throughout the Quran that we must fight them as they fight us. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. We are, I apologize that women had to witness this today. But in our land, our women have to see the same. You people will never be safe. Remove your governments. They don't care about you. Move back! Move back! That's, Move that's back. how you come in. As police combed the scene of the deadly incident for clues, eyewitnesses described what they saw. I was on the bus and I'd seen a body laying in the road, which at first I thought was a road traffic collision. So I've gotten off the bus and realised that there were a couple of um, helicopters overhead and there was a lot of police. And um, then they've covered the body with a body bag and that's what I saw myself and obviously other information has come to light since then. The incident led to Prime Minister David Cameron cutting short his official trip to France. Cameron has promised everything possible will be done to get to the bottom of the incident. I've been briefed by the Home Secretary about this absolutely sickening attack in Woolwich in London. It is the most appalling crime. We obviously are urgently seeking and the police are urgently seeking the full facts about this case, but there are strong indications that it is a terrorist incident. Two people at the scene of the murder were wounded by the police and they are being treated as suspects. Francis offered his full support to Britain. London police have meanwhile increased security in the area. Meanwhile, tensions are running high. News that moves. ENCA.com.